happy day. I hope you guys are doing well. I want to share with you today two of the biggest swear words in the final expense insurance industry. Saddle up, okay? Put your kids away. I hope this helps you. I hope this brings you value. But the two big swear words that everybody hates as an insurance agent, we're going to go over them and we're going to talk about how to eliminate them from your vocabulary. Saddle up. All right, the first swear word in the insurance industry, whether you are a final expense insurance agent, a telespace insurance agent, which is, in my opinion, a whole lot better way to go, but both of us are doing great work, or if you're a Medicare agent or a Medicare supplement insurance agent, the biggest swear word in the insurance industry when you first get started, or if you're a veteran, like what I do, okay, jasonfinalexpense.com, been doing this a long time, but the number one, the first big swear word that everybody hates to hear, okay, as an insurance agent, are you ready, kids away, it's discipline, it's discipline, discipline, the D word, the big D word, everybody hates it, everybody hates discipline, discipline takes effort, it takes intentionality, you guys, it's not always fun to get up at 4 a.m. It's not always fun to get up at 6 a.m. and do what successful people do. There may be times where you're like, oh, wow, I've got a little bit of ring under my eye. Well, guess what? Disciplined people get things done. And if you're not skilled, at least disciplined people have the best chance of being successful. No one that is successful in life lacks the D word. No one lacks discipline if they are successful. Let me tell you though, a lot of people fall by the wayside. They get hurt. It's horrible. Some really smart agents, all right, final expense insurance agents, telesales insurance agents, they get hurt. They fail out of the business. They quit, okay? But they quit before they started because they didn't know how to handle the D word, discipline. Discipline and discipline and discipline. You must do things that unsuccessful people are not willing to do. You've got to go through the sparring. You've got to go through, okay, the boxing matches with your mentor. You've got to go through, okay, the channels to get yourself good. Just like when you go into basic training, okay, it sucks, okay? I'm not even military, let me tell you. Uh, Got a lot of good buddies that are military. I love them. Thank you guys for your service. But let me tell you, what they go through at basic training is ridiculous. It's brutal, but it makes them men. It makes them stronger than when they first came in. They came in all, okay, not knowing what they were doing. And when they come out, okay, it, it, ridiculous. My next door neighbor, great man. He went into the military. So proud of him. But let me tell you, he went as an adolescent young adult, and when he came out of basic training, he was a man. I'm crazy proud of him. So discipline will make you strong. Discipline will give you power that you can harness in the right way, in the right platforms. Have good mentoring. Now, people don't go to basic training with no mentor. They don't have a drill, they don't not have a drill sergeant, right? They don't have an instructor. They don't go into basic training without a good instructor that knows what they're doing. Am I right? They do. They go into basic training with instructors that have done it forever, that are just pumping on them, making them like, this is brutal, right? But then when they get out of basic training, they're like, okay, this is better, okay? Temporary pain long-term gain, just like going to the gym. Everybody wants the beach body. Nobody wants to get up and do the push-ups. Discipline, you guys, you must master it. If you're a final expense agent, you've got to discipline yourself to make the necessary dials and smiles to get yourself the sits, get yourself, okay, the best chance of having the cells, but you've got to set appointments. If you're not setting appointments, but you think you'd like to do it at some point, these appointments ain't going to make themselves if you're a face-to-face -face agent, right? If you're a telesales insurance agent, if you refuse to get on this little thing called the phone, okay, you will not be successful. You've got to be disciplined. You've got to make the dials. It doesn't just happen by osmosis. You must be disciplined. That is swear word number one in the insurance space. Kids still put away? We're going to talk about swear word number two of the insurance industry. The second 
big bad word, okay, in insurance that holds a lot of people back is the A word, okay? Accountability. Accountability. Did you guys hear that? Ridiculous. Everybody hates it. You say accountability and it's like you flip on the lights and cockroaches are going, woo, not me, I'm out of here, right? Accountability is no fun, right? Or is it? Successful people are accountable. They've got goals, okay? They've got measurable goals in place. They've told their goals to somebody that they trust so that that person can sometimes kick them in the teeth in a nice way to keep them accountable, all right? If you're going to do something successful and do it well, let me tell you, you should have accountability. You should have somebody that's done it a long time, and you should give them permission to speak truth into your life to help you be better and greater than when you first started in the industry. It doesn't mean that they're just giving you a hard time for hard time's sake. That's different. That's called harassment, okay? But accountability is where you, you've got somebody in your life that's like, hey, this is what I want to do. I want to do you know, this many sales in a week, and I'm going to be committed to doing whatever it takes to make that happen. Let's talk. Let's see what we're doing every day, and let's check in, okay? People that have accountability in their life are more successful, but they master the first swear word of discipline first. So have accountability. It's not fun. It's not sexy. It's not snappy, okay? Accountability is like, oh, I don't want to be accountable. I'm an independent agent. I'm going to do whatever I want. And I support that, okay, completely, all right? I'm all about it. But you should have some form of accountability, even if it's yourself, that you say, you know what? If I don't get a sale today, I'm going to discipline myself. There we go. D word again. Whoops. Get the soap. Okay. But you got to have that. So it's like if I don't accomplish certain things, maybe I'm going to deprive myself of something that maybe I enjoy. Accountability even to yourself is powerful. Train the beast. You are the beast. Train it. Okay. It's like a dog that has no training. And I'm not saying y'all are dogs or I'm a dog, but I'm just saying if you have a dog that's undisciplined, just peeing all over the house, it's not real fun. A dog that's disciplined, that sits when you say and does great things, is a great partner in your family. I got a great dog, but you need to be disciplined as an insurance agent. Don't just be some loose cannon that lacks discipline, that has no form of accountability. Accountability is nothing to run away from. Accountability is something that you should embrace. Just say, I'm going to hit Million Dollar Roundtable this year. That's what I'm going to hit. Hey, I'm going to talk to somebody that I know and respect and say, all right, this is what I'm going to do. This is my metric, written goals that I'm going to accomplish. This is how I'm going to do it. I've accomplished Million Dollar Roundtable so many times. It's ridiculous. But you guys, if that's an accomplishment of yours, how are you going to attain it? Make baby steps. Be disciplined to have these little baby steps so that you can accomplish the big things. Big accomplishments don't happen by osmosis. Big accomplishments will happen because you had active intentionality. You had extreme discipline. And you did the small things and took the small steps to get the big accomplishment. If you want to okay, go the full race, you've got to do it one step at a time. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Even people that run marathons, let me tell you, they don't just like cheat and get in a car. Okay, There's a couple people that have done that. But you just don't. You just run, 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 run. It's left foot, right foot, sucking a lot of oxygen, sucking a lot of air. Okay, you're feeling your lungs. It's not fun. I don't run, by the way. But to get a marathon, it's a lot of steps, and it's fast. To be an insurance agent, sometimes it's a lot of steps. <sighs> and it's tiring, isn't it? To be on the phones all day, booking appointments, or to be a telesales final expense insurance agent on the phones all day, it's fun. It's rewarding. It's such a great business, serving amazing people. But it takes discipline and with accountability and having a target that you can actually hit. It's gonna make you feel good and it's gonna make you feel great about yourself so that when you get up every morning, when you get up tomorrow and you get after it, next week is a short week. It doesn't mean that amazing things won't happen if you're disciplined, but get after it and have active, okay? Active intention tomorrow. Be disciplined and be accountable, whether it's to yourself, okay, as an independent agent, or whether you're gonna be accountable to somebody else in your life that can help you, that is like-minded, to help you attack your goals. Not just reach your goals, attack them. 
it is your purpose. <laughs> All right? I hope this helps you guys. If it does, like, subscribe, share. My information's in the description. I'll help you any way I can. But be careful of the two swear words in this business. Discipline and accountability. They're not fun, but I promise you, if you harness them, they'll make you great. Have a good one, you guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Bye-bye.